I own Safford Tiny Kinds Car Wash in Buffalo. I had received a flyer, I think it came through the Chamber of Commerce, from a Sun Pumps uh, offering the incentives, especially for a commercial and going with the solar. So when I talked to them about it, I saw how feasible it might be. Uh, the initial cost seemed high, but after you get the rebate back from the um, electric company and then the tax credits, it just uh, looked like it's going to pay for itself within four years, so I just didn't see how it could go wrong. I had thought about waiting because I know they're doing a lot of technology on solar with smaller panels it may become less expensive, but I feel like I'll have mine paid for by the time that comes about, and it may never come about, and the incentives may go away, so this was, to me, um, a great deal. Electric has been increasing, in, you know, the, the rates each year are, are going up, naturally, and um, they were running between $800 to $1,000 a month, and um, they had said I could save four to five hundred dollars, you know, about half of my bill in the, the size of solar that I was able to put on uh, with the car wash. Well, I think the car wash is prime for, it, it's just conducive to the application with the flat roofs and ours, you know, we could face it to the south exposure. It just, to me, is a, a you, you have the size of the roof to work with. Uh, ours is just working really well. Well, that's another thing being in Arizona, you have a lot of nice sunny days, so you know, you might as well utilize that power. What goes into ours, once we make more than what we're actually using, then uh, we get a credit back on our electric bill because it's going back into the grid. So it's still a plus that way, you know. It's not being wasted. They've talked about doing what they call net metering. It hasn't come about yet, but when the net metering does take place, they'll actually buy back at the same price as what I'm paying for it, and then it would be uh, a wash. Sun pumps is great. I, I, I've been recommending them to you know others and um, other car washers because I I think that they've got a. a, a great thing going. I, they're, they're great people to work with. The, the guys that installed went above and beyond, you know, uh, making allowances, working about when we were still doing business. And, and even with a few other things that we had problems with, they were willing to help out. They just worked long hours in order to, to get it in as quickly as possible. I just really admired all the guys who were, were great. Well, I don't have internet capability at the car wash yet. I plan to do that. And once I do, uh, there's so many ways that, I mean, that's one of the cool things about it is you can actually monitor the system and sun pumps will monitor my system so that if one cell is not producing the way it should, that they can actually pinpoint that and come down and uh, take care of the problem. I wasn't sure it was working up to capacity because my bill was still a little higher than what I was, was thinking maybe it should be. but. Uh, I had other things going on at the same time that they put in the, the solar. I was also adding, uh, changing out an automatic and adding a standalone dryer, which takes more electricity. And I found out at the same time there was a rate increase with the electric company. That would have raised my bill even more if I didn't have the solar. So Jim had come down, checked out the system, and he said it's actually working better than what they had proposed. So. Uh, Definitely pleased with the way the system is working. And um, with sun pumps, I mean, they just will go out of their way to make sure that you're happy. So the initial cost was almost $195,000. So that the check from the co op was $97 back. And then with the 30% that you get in federal tax credits and 10% on the Arizona tax credits, it brings your bottom line down to $19,500 for the cost of the system, which I figured would be, uh, my break-even point would be within four years. So I just don't think that you can go wrong. Well, I've encouraged Jim's to go to one of the car wash conventions because I am such an advocate for the application with the car washes. 
and one of the things with the car wash, um, they are now pushing go green. So <laughs> it, it's just better all the way around, Econ economically, better for our environment. And, um, you know, it's just a win-win situation. So, yeah, come on down. Go green. These giant times. <laughs>